Hello and welcome back to Softcore History. My name is Jake Goldman, and I'm joined as always by my two friends and co-hosts, Rob Fox and Dan Regester. Get out of here with this today? NPR voice. What do you mean NPR voice? You do this every time. You're just like, hello and welcome. I sound like this. You sound, this it's like the delicious dish on Saturday Night Live. It's like, welcome hey. back to our topic hey. today is sorghum. We're not trying yeah. to go for it. We're going to, we are, we will eventually do an ASMR pod. This would be one. This would be a good ASMR pod. Oh, good. Is it a boring topic today? Yeah, it's really boring. <laughs> it's uh, brooms, the history of them. The what? The history of brooms. Oh, cool, yeah. cool. Well, you know, our most listened to episode is the history of sound. Yeah. <laughs> the history of noise so, on recordings. So show me what Elias uh, Broom has to has to show, you know? Yeah, well, you're very welcome for that. Uh, yeah, our topic today, we're going to be talking about dolphins. First off, can I have a little history thing I'd like to mention. Um, neither of you guys have complimented my cool track jacket. So I'm going to tell you why I'm wearing it today. There's a historical significance to your outfit. Yes. I mean, you look like a Russian club promoter. Yeah. You're almost on brand with that. Mm -hmm. uh, in honor of the historic liberation of Kherson, I am wearing a traditional Ukrainian military uh, jacket, which is just an old Adidas track jacket. Sick. <laughs> Slava Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Uh, yeah, in honor of the records big in the 70s or 60s. I always forget. Corduroys? Yeah. They're big now, baby. I got some cords. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Is that what you're rocking right now? These are corduroys, yes. Mm. They look like pajama pants. They kind of feel like it. They're soft. They're very soft. Everybody likes cords. You ain't got any cords, bro? Nothing gets between you. You would look like cords. shit in corduroys. No, Don't I'm buy corduroys. joggers right now. Yeah, this yeah. is what you should wear. To I your... typically wear. Uh, just like Lululemon shorts that can kind of ride up the crotch. Yeah, yeah. but now the, you're wearing Lulu joggers. Home. Yeah. Are those Lulu as well? They are. No one's here for this. Anyway, yeah, we talk hey. about history on this show. No, fuck that. Hey, we're, no, 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 fuck you. We actually have something else we got to talk about too. The uh, Patreon. We also got to talk about Rob not showing up to your oyster. We will talk about that in yeah, a we'll second. Yeah, we'll, we'll litigate that. We'll, we'll get all in there. But first, we need to talk about the Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash softcore history, you can find extra episodes every week of bonus content. That's every right. Every Wednesday, it drops. Just recorded about the Battle of Athens, which was a bunch of World War II veterans against local authorities. Yes, Ooh, I, would, I would say local hillbillies. Yeah. Um, yeah, like hillbilly mafia. Yeah, yeah. It was it was World War II veterans versus a hillbilly mafia. Yeah, for sure. In a literal gunfight, and then uh, they couldn't throw apparently. And also, <laughs> um, Rob also does uh, content once a day. On daily blog, daily Monday history blogs. Yeah. Uh, if you remember the episode I did a while back, probably two months ago at this point, where I was just reading from a uh, like the crime page of the St. Louis Post Dispatch in uh, mm -hmm. 1897. Uh, well, I just grabbed shit from. 18, papers in 1897 all the time now. And I will just blog about one story a day. They're all fucking crazy. The one I did on Friday was about... Uh, they always get doxxed. They, oh, dude, papers love to dox people back then. Yeah. They're like, Ezekiel Riley of 1892 uh, <laughs> Jefferson Street. Like, every fucking time. Like, it's like... That's like the third thing they say. And if they're black, they'll say, Ezekiel Riley colored of 1892 jefferson street <laughs> it's crazy to think that like in writing it's like if it wasn't specified your race you're just a white guy then. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's default yeah, yeah. default <laughs> like the sims to be yeah. fair we are a pretty factory reset race um but yeah daily blogs uh and by the way here's the most important thing about the patreon as you already know from our main show if you've listened to the catalog if you're a new user or new listener who's gone back and listened to past shows or whatever, uh, every single ounce of content we have is evergreen. Yeah. So every single thing I write, evergreen. Every single thing we record on the Patreon, evergreen. This is all, so like, it's not, we're not talking about the Oscars, right? No. We're not talking about current events. Literally, if you, sub start, so if you start subscribing to the Patreon today, you are immediately opened up to like, a fuck ton of more content. Although, of content. maybe we should look into the Oscars of, like, the 1930s. Just because I'm sure they got wild. Oh, actually, the fun John fun piece of Oscar history that came out recently. It's more God. I don't think we're going to cover it ever, but it's funny to mention now. That Indian. Yeah, the lady, the Native American lady that went up for who? Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando, yeah. Not a Native American. No, she was like a... Rachel Dolezal. Yeah. She, she was faked a, being Native American. 
John Wayne tried to kill her on stage. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, John Wayne did think she was a Native American. Yeah, and, and, and really did try to kill her. Like, <laughs> suddenly it's, it's a sin to be a method actor. Yeah, no, I think he didn't like her message. It was the problem. Well, he's a draft dodger. John Wayne. Mm -hmm. John Wayne's a fucking Nazi. Anyway, what? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I like saying stuff. Yeah, it's so, fun. it's what is it? Bombastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, though, today, it's a good Kesha song. But yeah, back to Rob's actually party. Shaggy. Good Shaggy song too. Mr. Okay. Bombastic. Wait, is Bombastic yeah. a Kesha song? No, it's not a Kesha song. It it's called a, me Mr. Bombastic. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we can give it back to me being a piece of shit. Yeah. So you gave Dan a ration of shit for not coming to a one-year-old's birthday party. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Kid can't even remember the party. Yeah. But totally I throw useless. this big extravaganza, me and my wife, we throw this big oyster roast. Ton of oysters. Just 300 oysters. Giant in rocks. Cooler. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We did the caveman thing where we ate rocks. Mm -hmm. uh, On a fire. Yeah. You know, I think we were talking about this at the thing. It was like cavemen were probably just eating rocks anyway, and they were like, oh, wait a minute. This rock. Yeah, this rock has meat. <laughs> this rock's good. This, this rock's good, alive. This rock rocks. <laughs> Yeah. No, I got to think they just watched otters. They were like, what are the otters doing with these? Oh. Yeah. If we're oh. done eating these otters. I do love, yeah. though, that we were consuming a living creature. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Oysters are alive as you eat them. Hell yeah. Yeah. And you're oysters are also into something that is... Don't they think oysters are also like life. the only totally non-sentient living thing? Yeah, no, I had to explain that to multiple people. I was like, just because they're alive, they, they don't have a central nervous no, system. No, jellyfish. No, I think jellyfish are somewhat sentient. Yeah, like, they just live forever. And basically, they're immortal. Yeah, imagine like an oyster is just a disembodied bicep. Yeah, like that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. But even like plants are more sentient than an oyster. Yeah. Oh, very or, much. Pretty so. much. Yeah. Plants I'll, are more sentient than most animals. So all you vegetarians out there. Oh no, plants know when they're being eaten, and they release a pain signifier. Actually, the smell of—we've talked about this. I think I mentioned it too. The smell of fresh cut grass that we all love—it is the—it's the pain. It's tears. It's the like scream of grass. Yeah, that smell. Yeah, it's and a we all grass love it. genocide. Yeah, it's grass cost. So funny. We are going to be talking about animals today, though. We're going to be talking about <laughs> dolphins. Really? Dolphins? Oh. Yeah. Dauphin? Uh. Dolphins. Yeah, Wait, a dauphin dolphin? or a dolphin? Dolphins. Have you oh. eaten dolphin? Uh, well, the dolphin fish or like porpoise. The porpoise. Yeah, dol uh, not a lot of people have eaten dolphin. Dolphin. Some of the finest about. meat. You have get. you though? Have you? I've never had. Well, I've never been to Japan. Yeah, I've never had porpoise. What's the weirdest animal you've eaten? Ooh, that's tough. Mm, uh, gator's not really weird. Gator's up there, but it's not weird. Where I want to say something fun, but mine is a uh, kangaroo. I guess like whatever. Oh, God, yeah, like I guess rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. Yeah. No, I yeah. feel like kangaroo is just deer in Australia. You know what I mean? Kangaroo yeah. is like fucking Australian venison. It's honestly just, they're big squirrels. They are. Yeah. They can box. Yeah, they'll fuck you up. Yeah. I I mean, I guess like, Don't there's a lot of weird pouches? seafood. What? Aren't their pouches fi like filled with goo? Yeah. It's like a jelly donut. It's like walking around. It's like a semi-outer uterus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, it's not just like a nice little satin pocket you're hopping into. That's like yeah. body fluids. No, it's a goo. It. Yeah, it's a, it's a gooderous. Like, it's fucking goo. Imagine, like, living inside of someone's belly button. That's probably like, no, slippery. No, it's even gooier than that. It's like, Dan, like, imagine, like, in your little hoodie thing, you got your hands in right there. Full of goo. Full of semen. Yes. Jizz. A little bit of blood. So it's like living flesh. in a foreskin. Yeah. Kind of. I'm actually gonna google this how gooey is a kangaroo kangaroos are just natural uh good fighters though Ooh, there's a close -up show video. it there's a close-up spread eagle oh they're going spread on this thing yeah because the little joey's in there oh oh on. yeah so they're opening it up to show it ah, who like, cares the yeah whatever yeah well you know what look this up do your own research time. well yeah we're talking about dolphins today specifically their involvement in some 1960s shenanigans. We actually talked about this topic oh, briefly. God. Did we give them acid too? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Of course Jake's going to believe that. What do you mean? It's verified. Eh. Prove it, bitch. By who? That's the, the government? Yeah, let me see your yes. resources. I don't trust the government. You want to know why I don't trust the government? Because I do shit like give acid to dolphins. So you don't trust that they did that, but that's the reason you this don't trust like them? This seems like a psyop, yes. really. Yes. It's the distraction. And I think that's a perfect representation of... Conspiracy think Of just how people view the government. Yeah. 
I don't trust the government. The government's incompetent. The go- <laughs> the government's incompetent. It controls everything. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> what? George Bush is an idiot that orchestrated 9-11. God damn yeah. it. I'm like, oh, can't. okay. Yeah. It's both ways, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it's like, also, I love small government. Wait, that's not enough government. Right. That, and we need more government. I love small government. Fuck status. Yeah. Should have complied. Yeah. Interesting. All the fun stuff. Oh, what? People aren't perfect? And we're Everyone's all hypocrites? a hypocrite. 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 That's, aside from shit don't change, that's the only thing I really believe on this podcast is everyone's, everyone's a, totally full including shit. Including ourselves. Like oh, yeah. Every, if you yeah. don't think you're a hypocrite, you're a hypocrite. I guarantee you. I can find a way to prove it. Yeah. And if you're not, that means you don't, you're not able to change your mind, too. Which makes you a hypocrite. It also makes you, you know. Anyway, in 1961, a group of scientists <laughs> got together <laughs> at the Green Bay Observatory in West Virginia to you decide. You went by too fast. I didn't hear anything you yeah. just said. Yeah, oh. in your little bitch ass. NPR yeah, go back to the voice. NPR. In 1961, a group of scientists got together at the Green Bank Observatory in West Virginia. Sound like you're luring children now. I want to hey. shove you into a goddamn locker room. Oh, you couldn't, you little bitch. I could. No, you couldn't. I could. No, I think no, Jake could fuck you up, actually. He can't do anything. I would punch you in the dick. So hard. I'd like to see you try. I'm not going to try to. Square up. Try to put me in a locker, bitch. Camera's rolling. There's no lockers here. Oh, what a nice excuse, Dan. Yeah, How convenient. I Wait, will... he got to skirt by. Why didn't you? Yeah, you couldn't come to my party. That was sick. He he almost weaseled out of that. He did. Yeah. Uh, I will say, though, I um was not. I left the party unsatisfied food-wise because you, you know, you're not really going to get full on oysters. Dan couldn't chuck oysters fast enough to fill his big There's a lot of work. I've yeah. grilled oysters with them before and left totally satiated. I ate yeah. a ton of meatballs, too. Yeah, Those are really good, but I ended up ordering, I mean. This uh, is coming from a man that I've seen eat every place he went one night. I know. Like, I, I ordered $100 <laughs> worth of favorite food. and Good Lord. From Did where? He actually just ordered like a small Chick-fil-A meal. And it was $100. <laughs> that's yeah, fucking favor. Yeah. That's favor. Uh, Favor's terrible. Favor I is the to, worst. They need to develop an app, though. Favor is like an app where like someone just shows up and takes a dump in your mouth and charges yeah, right. you money. I need like a breathalyzer for ordering food. Like, if I pass a certain BAC, I can't order food on my phone. Yeah. Or you should just go to your save, like, or your old orders and just click one. That's do you what remember, I do. Do you remember that glorious night when we ordered Favor, back when Favor was good, when we lived together, and they showed, and we ordered Whataburger from it, we had, like, a bunch of girls over or whatever to the... Oh, yes. And they were like, hey, uh, these assholes that I was delivering to, uh, they didn't answer the door, so you want their food, too? And we were just yeah. like, fuck, yeah. We had so much Whataburger. It, it was, was obscene. Yeah, but... Rob yeah, didn't come honestly, to the party. Yeah, I didn't come to your party. You guys got laid, though, because of all that Whataburger. Oh, I definitely, definitely got laid. Was it Katie? It, I it just rolled over on Katie. All sweaty from Whataburger. I probably just went to sleep. Honestly. Yeah. It's probably like, cool. I was about to be like, ew, you fucked Katie that night? No, probably not. Please. Probably smelled like I was like, I, yeah, I was like, I, for Katie's sake, I hope you didn't. No, I <laughs> probably went right to bed and farted all night. That's not, yeah, yeah that's not a good not situation. Fun. Yeah. Just like breathing a fucking patty meld onto her. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like it was, that. A, it was mostly fries, I think. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was a fun party, man. Um, gonna definitely do it again. I think we're gonna do it in February, not next year, but the year after. Like, so we're gonna give it a, we're gonna do it like at the beginning of the year. You're I'm giving down. us like a 15 month heads up. Yeah, that's about the heads up I need at this point. He's life. gonna have two kids. <laughs> They'll be fine. Anyway. Yeah. Well, maybe. He it was sad you didn't kids. come. You might have two kids. We had a really good time. Boosh was there. Good Lord. What does that even mean? Ah, uh, Boosh came. Boosh came. Boosh was there. Um, we had some Grand Exians. Cool. Yeah. And he then a lot of randos. Didn't care for it. A lot of randos by other friends that aren't you and people you know? Yeah, we don't like you to have other friends. Yeah, they kind of sucked. What? Name them. I can't. Yeah, Dan's yeah. talking about my neighbors that came by. <laughs> oh, very nice couple. Very forgettable. Oh, uh, man. Anyway. Unless they listen to the podcast. Uh, could get them on that. Should just get my whole neighborhood into it. Sure. Let's have all our neighbors on the podcast. I'm going to hang so our neighbors on the podcast? Yeah, I yeah, meant yeah. no, like, just get them oh, into it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to have my neighbors on the show. Hey, this is my neighbor Jeff. No, they're coming on after the 100-year-old. I'm actually, once my kid's old enough, I'm going to send him door to door and be like, I'm selling subscriptions to uh, my daddy's podcast. <laughs> get a candy bar. Please. That's next yeah. up. That's pretty good, right? Oh, yeah. like, we're going to start hitting up like D2 kids for NIL. No, we're not. Oh, I am. We don't have that kind of money. Yeah, D2 kids no for money. NIL. 
We're just Ace gonna send him a shirt. Bucks. You're getting a shirt, dude. Yeah. You Take, get a you get a discount code. <laughs> hey, you want a softcore history t shirt? Thirty percent off. Anyway. <laughs> you want this Unabomber hoodie? It's yeah. gonna get you kicked <laughs> off the fucking team. I showed that to a friend. They were like, How do you feel about that? And I was like, Fine. I don't care about it. Oh, we still need the skin puppy t shirt. Oh, skin puppy, yes. It's just gonna be a uh I don't know how to make that shirt. <clears throat> well, we need like a model for it, so your baby. Yeah, that's fine. I'll send you some pics. It can just be your your son crowning. I have that. You want yeah. to see it? No, uh, I don't. I don't. <clears throat> in 1961, a group of scientists got together at the Green Bank Observatory in West Virginia to decide whether scanning the cosmos for signs of alien life was a worthwhile idea. If you're getting together to decide if that's a worthwhile idea, you already believe it's a worthwhile idea. Right. No one's like, hey, let's get together and finally decide if we're going to look for aliens. They're like, we're going to. Or what, what was yeah. that movie where they were all deciding on the Holocaust? With Kenneth Branagh. Oh, dude, I don't know. And Stanley Tucci. But it's like, feels like you guys already got your minds made up. Yeah. You're having a meeting that feels, it feels more about the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Than anything. I guess I've never thought about that. Like, they had to have a meeting kind of talking over what they're going to do. If we were to do this. Yeah. 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 It just didn't put it I mean, in Germans action. are, they're an inherently organized mm -hmm. people, but they still. Very efficient. Yeah. Yeah. Still have to have meetings about it. Yeah. That's how they become efficient. They plan ahead. Yeah, they don't have meetings about meetings, like corporate America. That's smart. Yeah, they're good about they're good at that. They're good actually. The there's there's almost no greater tragedy in the 20th century than Germany, like such a dope country that just kept going idiot. They just got passed by California. They did for, uh, economically. California wow. passed Germany as as economy size. Yeah, it's funny, man. Although I think some of that has to do with the. Ukrainian war and gas prices and shit like that it probably does. Shit's have to tanking. Do right I assume. Now. I assume Germany's dollars just holding up pretty strong, but it's. What's the Deutschmark doing? Uh, the, the the euro actually, but whatever. So anyway, they decided. Yeah, we're gonna do this thing. It was a great spot for it. Huge well, we're gonna blast out shit into space. We're just gonna monitor for everything. Okay. Look around. Either no. way. All right. Dolphins space. Please tell me we're launching dolphins <laughs> on rockets. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you know how many dolphins are orbiting the Earth right now? I know dolphins. how many dead dogs are. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many dead Russians there are too. You think Yuri was the the f like they got it right the first time? I know, right? There's so many melting Russians up there. Oh just, my god! Like, that's the first one you heard about. Yeah, but they like, made it. You know, they just didn't make it back. On like a certain ship. Yeah. yeah. On like a uh, what? Which one? Challenger. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the Dodge Challenger. The group named itself the Order of the Dolphin in honor of John C. Lilly, a neuroscientist that had expanded his research not outward, but inward. More specifically, on consciousness and the brain and dolphins. Oh, back to that, though. Why would Dodge name their car the Challenger? Why not? Because it means more than just a fucking Isn't space shuttle. Isn't that the first thing that comes to your mind, though? No. No. I would think At no like, point. this car is going to blow up. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Never, never came to my mind. I do think a Dodge Challenger could successfully go higher higher in the sky than the Challenger did, but <laughs> like a Hot Wheels ramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's sad. Uh, John Lilly noted that. Dolph Wait, wasn't Sally Ride the first chick on a space shuttle too? Oh, or you could God. see like Evil Knievel jumping in a Dodge Challenger across like the Grand Canyon. Didn't Evil Knievel die of like Hep C? He didn't die from a stunt. Yeah, no, that's a he myth, died right? As an old man, yeah. Yeah, like everyone thinks he like died on like the biggest stunt. It's not a myth. It's just kind of like a what is it? The the uh, Mandela effect. Yeah. <sighs> Rob hates that shit. I know, because it's like every basic white girl's thing. No, it's not. That's not why. It's every idiot's thing. Like wow. what? I forgot. No, no, I didn't remember it wrong. <laughs> Uh, to, uh, I got I got moved over from a parallel universe. Right. There was. Yeah, it's not my brain's fault. There was a rip in the space yeah. time continuum. It's not, it's not my brain's fault. The fault is of the space time continuum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how go? Fuck, how fucking fuck selfish yourself? How selfish of you? Good God. No, yeah. I actually I appreciate that kind of. <laughs> no, you don't. You're <laughs> just saying that because you. Illusion. You hate it. No, I love it. John Lilly noted Never that, take the blame. Always pass the buck. Yeah. To the universe, especially. <laughs> it's kind of like 
if you're failing at the gym, blame genetics. Yeah, and then when they're like, what do you mean parallel universes? And then you can start talking to them like they're the idiot. And what then all of a sudden, what do they, you mean? they forget that you just got the name of some celebrity wrong. And they feel like the dumbest asshole on earth because you're making up physics in front of them. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean, what do you mean, parallel universe? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Anyway, Lily noted that dolphins' brains were about the same size as humans. If they were as smart as humans, Lily wondered if he could communicate with them. Because of this notion, and Lily being one of the few people in the world with clearance for studying LSD, so he was one of the few people in the world that was allowed to have LSD for a second. Like, purposes. legally, he could just have LSD. Yeah, like, because they're like, oh, you're, he's, he was right. like uh, one of the leading, like, most prominent scientists in the U.S. at the time. He would ultimately spend the peak of his career taking acid and trying to talk to dolphins. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is all funny. This guy sounds like a dude who'd be really into the Mandela effect. <laughs> well, be quite yeah. Honest. Listen. No, 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 no. I did talk to that dolphin, but what happened is uh, I slid over to another universe where dolphins don't talk to me. Yeah. He ended Happens up the developing the uh, Sega Genesis game. Echo? Echo. Actually, Echo, a lot of this is some of the inspiration for the Echo game. Yeah, no, he, uh, he created it. He didn't create the game. Never played it. Echo's a great game. Sounds awful. Do you have a Switch? No, I don't. What he sounds like the fucking inspiration for is Lisa Frank folders. (laughs) (laughs) Just the fucking acid trip that is Lisa Frank. With a dolphin in the middle of it. Yeah. It's just like every color thrown up onto a notebook and then a big eyed dolphin. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, So. To better study his subjects, Lily opened the Communication Research Institute on the island of St. Thomas, where he and a small group of colleagues would pioneer the study of dolphin communications. Lily's early experiments, published in leading journals like Science, uh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't type it all the way out, so it's published in leading journals like Science. <laughs> that could be a journal. Yeah. The science journal? Yeah, <laughs> that why not? sound made up. Whatever. Uh, it's a good resource. Just it's say, a, lead, yeah, leading journals. Who cares? Leading, also, I can't imagine those are still leading journals if they're like, this guy gave drugs to an animal. Uh, it's like, that. he's essentially doing what every high schooler does when they discover weed, and they're like, dude, I heard if you blow it into the dog's ear, it gets it high. <laughs> People shouldn't get their dogs high. Play the Wizard of Oz backwards. Yeah, with Dark Side of the Moon. That's good. Dark side of the moon, dark side of the rainbow. It all lines up, man. It's like, no, you're just, that's the that's another Mandela effect. It's like, dude, if you watch this, it lines up. It's like, no, you're high. Yeah. Of course it lines up. No, no, no. Oh, the universe is messed collided because he did line up yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, fuck. Am I in the universe? Actually. Because I'm smart and it did line up. We were on drugs one time and we were watching Starship Troopers while listening to Grateful Dead. And that lined up, and I was like, it was great. How did that line up? I didn't. What saw? What scene in Starship Troopers did Box of Rain line up with? Oh, no, it was uh, Franklin Tower. I'm sorry, Rob, you haven't been on the proper wavelength. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. You don't sorry, know that Jerry Garcia understand. was writing for a movie adaptation of a book? <laughs> Hi, cocaine. Yeah. Driving that train. It's just fucking Rico blasting arachnids. Yeah. And you're like, this is perfect. We're seeing Trouble the dimension again. for what it actually is. What? We're seeing this dimension for what it actually is. It's opening up. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, yeah, so Lily's early experiments suggested that dolphins were capable of mimicking human speech patterns and that interspecies communication was indeed possible. Lily's unorthodox methods may have had a significant, a significant influence on his results, as he detailed in a 1967 article, he had been administering 100 microgram doses of LSD to dolphins. Um, for everyone that doesn't know, that's just one hit of acid. Okay. So it's not like he's getting Sounds them. big, but it's not. Yeah, it's it's really not. It's, how how much does the average dolphin weigh? About the same as the average human? I don't know, actually. That's I'll look point. it up. Yeah, yeah, look it up. No. I think they're bigger. No. I think they weigh more. I don't think so. I would, would imagine a dolphin. Do like you know what type of dolphin? Bottle nose? Because there's different dolphins. I would say a dolphin's about 120 pounds. I would say like 120, 150. That's not average human. That's that's pretty average human. With like a, men an and women? Human? Adult human, yeah. That's average <laughs> human. Men and women. <laughs> How heavy is a dolphin? The average bottlenose dolphin is between 330 and 1,400 pounds. Yeah, fuck off, Dan. Yeah, what, 300 and 1,400? That's a, <laughs> that's a wide range. Yeah. There's just mega dolphins I don't there. buy it. <laughs> yeah. Dan almost is questioning dolphins by themselves at this point. 
Anyway, about um, the acid. Yeah, it's it's not a lot of acid that they were giving them. They were giving them a hit. Uh, Lily noted that the dolphins on LSD were far more vocal than usual. This was because they were tripping balls. Well, because the water was on fire. Well, hold on, just listen. This was measured through the percentage of the time that a dolphin spent vocalizing per minute without anxiety or stimulation. Sober dolphins. For sober dolphins, this range can go from zero to seventy percent if they're feeling especially chatty. Okay. Uh, with dolphins on LSD, the rate very frequently does not drop to zero ever. Dolphins be chatty on drugs. They talk a lot. Weird. Uh, wow. But it's not like distress. Right. Yeah. They're just annoying. So. Yeah. Oh man. They're just uh, bad hangs. I'm seeing the wall. It's crazy, man. So Lily saw the real effect of LSD when a human or another dolphin entered the tank that contained the dolphin on LSD. So they'd bring another thing for it to interact with. Another thing on LSD? A person on LSD? No, no. They'd just bring, an, like, the dolphin, the acid dolphin would be sitting in his little tank. <sighs> Man. And Rob, imagine I know you getting have it. a lot of impressions in your back pocket. Do you have you acid have dolphin, dolphin on acid? <laughs> I actually knew a stoner kid that laughed like that. Did you kill him? No, I would have uh, taken this bottle opener here, pulled out the wine part, and then... Uh, that looks like a dolphin's penis. Yeah, I would have thrown this away and then saran wrapped his head to a block <laughs> and pulled out a sledgehammer. Oh, listen to the Patreon, everybody. That gets brought up. <laughs> yeah. You'll figure out why he says that. Anyway... Um, it has something to do with my jacket. So the vocalization when another uh, dolphin or animal would be brought to the acid dolphin would rise about 70% for about three full hours. Um, the when, vocalization one? Yeah. Yeah, because I thought a demon was in front of it or a unicorn or something. You don't Whatever. know how acid works. I you don't. don't. You don't see demons in unicorns. And I don't care to know how acid one, works. One, one hit of acid, you're not seeing anything that's not there. Things are just moving weird? It's barely, yeah. Like, it's more of a, it's more of a body high. One hit of acid, if it's really strong, you'll see some swirls and stuff like that. Okay. But a lot of it's... You're cool. No, but I'm saying, like, it's not, oh, God, you know, like, I'm seeing ghosts that aren't there. It's one hit of acid. It's not, like, a bunch of acid. And it's a 300-pound dolphin. Right. So, at, at minimum, you know. So, anyway, all, like... And all muscle. Yeah. Dolphins I don't know are, if that makes a difference. Dolphins are pretty buff. Yeah, they're fucking shredded. They, just, they beat the fuck out of sharks all the time. They do. They fuck sharks. Actually, you know what the funniest thing is with porpoises or whatever the fuck? How they get high with People talk bitches. about like, oh, uh, you know, great white sharks, man. They're the fucking baddest bitches in the ocean. No. It's killer whales. It's killer whales. Yeah. You, you, know what they've been, you know what they've been finding lately? What? They've been finding great white sharks dead. <laughs> That have just had their livers eaten out by killer whales. That's awesome. Like, well, killer whales also just kill for pleasure. They do. That's they sick. T- they throw seals around for funsies. Well, that's like dolphins. You know, um, the puffer fish that can kill you. Yeah, they play soccer with those. Basically, they bounce it into they each other high. to get high off of it. That's they'll they'll like trap badass. it mm-hmm. and like play with it and like yeah. bounce so it. Around. It releases the uh, toxin. Yeah. Oh my god, that's incredible. Dolphins are like us a lot. They also will find fish and then just fuck the fish's face to death. Well, they rape a lot. Dolphins just, are very rapey. Mm-hmm. They're just like us. They are just like us. The cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. <laughs> Little boy, blue, the man in the moon. Dolphin, when you're coming me home, in Dad, I don't death. know when. Me yeah, and dolphin we, rape, and then this is how we get demonetized <laughs> yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, oh, that maybe. Yeah, we got demonetized for our intro song, which is weird. So, suck our dicks, YouTube. Like, so anyway, during the control sessions when the dolphin wasn't on LSD, interactions with other people or dolphins only raised about 10%. So the LSD raised at 70. All this to say, dolphins were chatty on LSD. Dolphins that saw other intelligent life while on, while on LSD, they wouldn't shut the fuck up. They're like, yo! Yeah. Yo! Hey, I'm, I'm really high! <laughs> They're like, yeah, Let's dolphin. talk! And all of this is to just try and find a bridge between the two animals, or like a link between the vocalization patterns, right? Finding a way to communicate back to the right. dolphins, too. To figure out. Also, so essentially, this is the plot to uh, what's that Amy Adams movie? Arrival? Yeah. Yeah, it's very much Arrival. This is the plot to Arrival. Where it's like, so what was the deal with Arrival? Like, were they like using squid arms to make the ink spots, or what was the deal? Something, yeah. You never were, see the They alien. were like coming yeah. squid spots. But the funniest thing about Arrival is, like, when you learn a new language, it changes your brain. Yeah. And their language was, like, made her see all time at once. Yeah. Which makes me not want to learn that language. Yeah. I, it was weird. When I saw Arrival. horrifying. Like, the, 
the aliens just kept making those pictures of my parents fighting every time. <laughs> so. I don't know. He sounds more like Eliza Thornberry. This guy, yeah. yeah. So yeah. as Lily goes on to describe in his article about LSD and dolphins, his work provided important insights into LSD and psychotherapy, even if he failed to prove that he could establish meaningful communication with the subjects. Instead... Also, if you had that ability, would you want to talk to animals? No. Yeah. You think they have a lot to offer? <laughs> I like when... <laughs> Can I give them orders? Can I tell them to, like, go look at something? For no, you they don't Aquaman? necessarily listen to you. They'll, they can, like, do, I mean, they can just say no. Right. So it's, having a basic so it's like in Up, essentially, where he puts the talk box on the dog. And, and it's, it's like, like, squirrel! Squirrel! <laughs> <laughs> I like in Rick and Morty where he starts hearing the squirrels and they actually are part of taking down, like, the Nicaraguan government. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you can persuade these animals to do stuff for you. If you, if you can persuade the animals to do things, then, yes, I do want to talk to them. If they're just saying, like, eat, 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 <laughs> fuck, yeah, spread seed. That'd be so annoying. Um, that would be awful. Like, what is that Russell Crowe movie uh, where he can read women's minds? Is it, what? Certainly not a Russell Crowe movie. Mel Gibson. Is it Mel Gibson? Yeah. Which I is racist of you for confusing Australians. <laughs> well, one's not Australian. <laughs> Mel Gibson's American. <laughs> yeah, which is even more racist of Dan. I thought Russell Crowe had a movie like that. No. Where he could talk to it animals? Was, so is Mel, no, where he could talk to women. Or he could read women's what, minds. Oh, you're thinking of what women want? Yeah. 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 That's definitely a Mel Gibson now, movie. Now, if you just put that on animals, that would be... What animals want? You, You're you talking would, about Dr. Doolittle, dude. Yeah, but you could never live in peace. It would just be Well, yeah, that's Dr. Doolittle, both Eddie Murphy and Robert Downey Jr.'s versions. I never saw the Robert Downey. I never saw either because they're probably both terrible. But. Yeah, but Eddie Murphy made a lot of, mo lot of money off those. Yeah. I'm sure. Uh, there was a time in the mid to late 90s where Eddie Murphy was like, I'll make any movie. You can put the script in front of me. Let's get yeah. it. Well, Daddy uh, daycare? I feel like he's a billionaire. And I, and I refuse... To let anyone play any other part. I feel like Eddie Murphy's a billionaire strictly off Shrek. Probably. I know he's not a billionaire, but like close to it. I don't know if he's that He has close. a lot of kids, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's a daddy daycare at a drive-in. Do drive-ins have like different cuts? They might. Because the mic, the boom was visible the entire movie. Oh. Uh, I was just like, how the fuck? Like, I was watching his like, <laughs> no, we got to make it fit on the drive-in screen. So like, There's, there's no way that's possible. What? It was also just daddy daycare, so. <laughs> I think the movie might have just been the that bad. The editor just didn't care. Yeah. yeah. Dude, the boom was in, like, a lot the of The editor shots. was taking LSD <laughs> and wishing he was talking to fucking dolphins instead of cutting Yeah, daddy John daycare. Lilly actually cut uh, yeah. daddy daycare. So anyway, uh, Lilly and the dolphins communicated in a silent language most of the time. This was just made up nonsense vocalization. Yeah, it sure fucking context. was. What? <laughs> yeah. Mostly they communicated silently. <laughs> <laughs> well, in physical contact. Uh, basically, Lilly said, they will tell us when they don't want us in the pool. They will tell us when they do not want us to come in. They do this by gestures, by nudging, stroking, and all sorts of this non -verbal. That's so a dog? They could talk like a dog talks? Yeah. I mean, like, get the fuck away from me? Yeah. It is a very primitive level, but it is absolutely necessary to make progress on other levels. So they uh, couldn't communicate with them as well as they communicate with, like, a chimp or a gorilla. Because, I mean, they can use sign language. Well, only one right. woman could really communicate with Hold on. chimps. Hold on. Do you think she fucked that, those chimps? Girls in the Mist? Do you no think Jane Goodall? Jane Goodall. She's alive. Yeah. She fucked those gorillas? Is she's she alive? alive. She's alive. So she didn't fuck them. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to get sued. No, it's what? not that. I just think... I'm, I'm just speculating. Once you become part of a gorilla or chimpanzee, like, whatever you want to call it, tribe, yeah. whatever. Do you think she'd like, be fucked to death if she tried? No, but there's, like, social, like, it's a real social circle. It's a real social situation, and it gets uh, violent way more often than you think. Yeah. And your average chimpanzee is about as strong as Captain America, so. And if she was fucking around on that chimp. Right. They'll tear her fucking arms off. Yeah. And beat you like, with Like, that's them. my girl. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, she should have uh, just hung out with bonobos, though. They would have just made out. Because that's all bonobos do. They resolve all their problems by, like, fucking sucking. and sucking. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, one result of his experience. Which is, by the way, still what I would like this podcast to do, but instead we have to have conversations. We just want to fucking you just, you just want to... Welcome back to softcore pornography. No, I mean, not for the camera, but, like, I'm tired of, like, not 69ing after we talk about, like, social budgets. Social I mean, budget? I understand that, yeah. No, it's social budget. I get it. Yeah, like, social media budgets. Oh, gotcha. You know what I mean? Like, we just talk about it and then don't 69. 
Yeah. Every every it's kind of annoying. Every it's really con- annoying. How come Congress doesn't end with just a gangbang? I all right, meeting adjourned. Right. Time for the I th- more things jo- would be done. Joke is just stroking each other off. Yeah. Joke's on you guys. All right. If we pass on. this bill, we all get to fuck each other. Madison Cawthorn said they were fucking each other. All of them. Madison Cawthorn also uh doesn't have a working wiener. No. No. And, and allegedly. Wait, don't you know that? Allegedly. I'm not gonna say how you know that, but you know that. Yeah. He just likes eating girls out. Yeah. <laughs> he can only eat girls out. Oh, that's cool. He's apparently good at it. So I mean, props he's, to him. he's got oh, nothing else he can do. Yeah, got to be good at something. He's yeah. got a good tongue. Anyway, one result of his experiments involved a dolphin. Stop trying to move on from this. What? <laughs> from what? From what? What am I, what am I well, keeping us from discussing? All right, all right, all right. Enough of this argument. Let's all 69. Yeah, you know what? Rob's right. Stand Take off your pants. Yeah, what? Dan, you're strong. Stand Hold me upside down. I can do it. Hold yeah. me upside down. All right, let's Look do it. my neck. <laughs> I don't. I don't actually believe you could hold him in a sixty-nine position. All right, let's take off our pants and show him. All right, let's yeah. go. Anyway, you can just do it without with the pants on. We'll do the rest later. Mm-hmm. No. I don't and then a uh, tombstone pile drive, Jake. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> it's just a pile driver setup, actually. Rob's actually just getting a cinder block and saran wrap from outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the sledgehammer out. in yeah. the car. Um, one amazing result of his experiments involved a dolphin that had been rescued after being shot through the tail three times with a spear gun. The dolphin's <laughs> previous owners. <laughs> Yeah, the dolphin's previous owners had enjoyed a close relationship with the dolphin until that happened to it, which I guess means the dolphin's owners accidentally shot him three times with the spear gun. He's like, uh, uh, oh, uh, we got a close relationship with this dolphin. Let's shoot it in the tail with a spear. What? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Is this a Japanese farm-raised dolphin? I have that no didn't idea. understand where it was. I don't know how you have a close relationship with a dolphin, but uh, then you shoot accidentally it. shoot it three times. Right. The dolphin exhibited a very scared behavior, always staying at the far side of the pool whenever anyone else was in it. Seems logical. Yeah, that sounds like a good fear response. Yep. Uh, two years after the incident, Lily used this dolphin as one of his control subjects and injected her with a hit of acid. As the elephant. Wait, so they were injecting it? Yeah, they were injecting the acid. Okay, so it wasn't like a hit on the tongue situation? No, it, the, which is an instant. Rub, rub fish on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like drop or rub like acid it, on a fish. and then <laughs> Like the sugar cube, but it's just like a little anchovy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like a little dropper. Here you go, yeah. baby. Yeah, so they'd inject it. Um, as the LSD came on, 40 minutes after the injection, the dolphin began swimming toward uh, Dr. Lily. Quote Lily, she had not approached me before. She stayed still in the tank with one eye out of the water, looking me in the eye for 10 minutes without moving. So just like side eyeing him. Like, yeah, the fuck are you up to, bro? I do like that you hold the laptop so close to your face. Are you blind? Yes. Actually, man, the text is really big. No, I'm just, I I can't, I don't like looking down and trying to talk to you guys. Oh. Like, I wish I had a teleprompter. pretty easy. I wish I had a teleprompter. Every time I look, uh, every time I talk to you guys, I'm looking down on you. Oh, cool. And I understand that. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, your mom's a public defender. I get it. So, quote St. Lily. St. Louis royalty. Kind of. Yeah. She was named one of the most hundred influential people in St. Louis. This was year, she actually. really? Yeah, she was. What was her number? Uh, it, it wasn't a ranked list. It was just they listed a hundred people. This lady's gotten so many people thrown in jail. Well, <laughs> not prevented so many people. <laughs> yeah. So many guilty people from going to jail. Yeah. No, she's a public defender, right? She runs the entire Missouri public defender system. Oh, she's like what? Like she's like one of the highest ranking lawyers in the fucking state. That's awesome. Dad's jealous because his dad, uh, I don't know what, stirs water for a living. <laughs> yeah, for about Dan, Dan's dad. Just, they just gave He's him got a an big oar. Let's say it's a wooden <laughs> oar. He just stirs the water around. It's just like toxic sludge. <laughs> yeah, it's that good Delco water. Yeah. Anyway, uh, water. Water. He's it's a water, water man. It's water. Yeah. Water. Uh, drinking some water. Uh, no. Yeah. He's a, he was a treatment operator, and it caused him to get a new lung. That does sound like he was using an oar to stir things out of it. <laughs> by the way. Yeah. I, I'm yeah, not yeah. gonna lie to you. He's enjoying retirement now. That's great. Yeah. We're here for that. Uh, so, the completely new behavior was, the dolphin started swimming within five feet of him and staying at the complete other end of the pool when it was on the LSD. So it was, they started using these kind of experiments to like figure out, oh, like LSD would probably help with some PTSD. Okay. Stuff like that. Which they have continued to figure out that psychedelics help with PTSD. They they can. They can. They can. Not that they do. Like it's not like aspirin with a headache. I'm actually not a big fan of people that just 
say everything is a cure-all like every hallucinogen is just a cure-all like most people that do ayahuasca i feel like are assholes at yes, the end of the day 100%. that's actually an effect of ayahuasca you can you only talk about doing ayahuasca person. in the world mm -hmm. yeah yeah you can be it, it just changed my life I, like, you, you don't even understand do you like, want to be never, cured of one thing but become a totally different horrible <laughs> thing you just won't understand until you do it in the jungles of peru I, I think it's funny that it's a like, oh, yeah, man, life just has so much more meaning. Now I monetize this experience. It's like, no, you sound like the same person. <sighs> yeah I'm just going to yeah. go on every podcast ever and say the same 15-minute story. Are we talking about this? No, it's yeah, not. It's, just, it's, it's not it's, just Connor. Connor. It's not Connor. Connor owns that, too. Connor is self-aware, yes. which but is crazy. It's, no, it's every one single one of them. And the other thing, too, is like the way they talk about having their eyes open, I'm, I, I like, I'm always like... So your eyes were just fully closed before. You were just sleepwalking? You just weren't paying attention to anything. Were you an idiot? Prior to. You just didn't also, think other humans existed. I yeah. like yeah. My thing is, like, I kind of want to just wait. I'd like the end to be at the end. You know, like, if it is really your death releases that DMT drip or explosion yeah. in your brain. Well, it's the death of your ego. Yeah. Creating another ego. Yeah. <laughs> Much bigger ego. Yeah. Anyway, looking down on people who haven't done ayahuasca. It, yeah, it's actually, your ego got huge, bro. Your it's so big grew. you can't even perceive it. That's the it problem. It became a phoenix. It rose from the ashes. <laughs> yeah, it's just so funny too. Like I've heard people say, like, "Oh, it made me like a better, even like a better father." And I was like, "Oh, what, what? How did drugs make you a better father? How did not just seeing your child make you a good father?" What well, you... my dad was a great dad, and he did. He was high all the time. Oh, that's weed, bro. Yeah, weed makes you better. Weed's good. Mm. It makes everyone way more productive. Every drinking, I think drinking makes me a wonderful father. I would agree with that too. My mom was like a functioning alcoholic. Still Love is. That. Love that. Shouts to my mom and dad yeah. who are listening right now. Thank you. You raised a great child. I'm never more loving to my child than when I'm just a little buzzed. So, uh, 1964 rolls around. They built that place in St. Thomas to like work with the dolphins on acid. Uh, in 1963. Man, so, how much money did this cost? I don't know. The United figured. States government. NASA funded all this, by the way. Isn't NASA funded by the, the yes, government? Yes, yes. But I just look. Think I'm not saying the, the this NASA, is... like the space rocket place. They're like also acid dolphins. Put that on the docket. NASA will always be necessary, and I put as much money into that as you possibly can. But it is hilarious that like, at least, uh, at least. A couple hundred people starved to death or something because we were getting dolphins high. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, look, I understand there's utilitarian situations in every society. I think more like, acid to more animals. Yeah. I'm fine with it. Like, I think we should have given the starving people acid. Right. It's like, fucking learn a new way to hunt, man. Yeah. Yeah. It'll open your eyes to how much you don't need food. Yeah. For at least, you won't need food after three like, days. Let's of get rid of social it. security. Just more acid, less more social acid. security. Yeah. 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 No, that's your check. It's like here's an envelope full of thirty. Well, it's hits. still paper, but you just eat it now. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's one stamp. <laughs> Where you're going, you won't have to worry about money. So uh Margaret Lovett was a research assistant in her early twenties when she signed on for the project in nineteen sixty four. Right away she showed a particular flair for working with animals and Dr. Lily took notice. Lily decided to isolate Lovett with a young male dolphin called Peter because he had not yet received human sound training yet. He set up a dolphinarium or dolphin house by waterproofing the floor of a house and flooding it. Feels uh, unnecessary to call it a dolphinarium. <laughs> yeah, also, why'd you, why'd you yeah, put like, a Yeah, just call Russian... it a fucking aquarium. A dolphinarium. <laughs> why'd you put a Russian inflection on that? What? You were like, Peter. 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 Is it spelled in a weird way? No, it's Peter. Just it's Peter. 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 Peter, Peter, Peter. Cottontail. Peter. I think I was trying to enunciate Peter, and it came out Russian. It came out very, like, yeah. Peter. Peter. Peter Jan. Peter. Like, who did you, uh, whose skull did you smash in with a sledgehammer? Peter. Peter. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no, Peter is the name of the dolphin. By waterproofing the floor of the house and flooding it, Lovett and the dolphin could live together under observation. Although this what is the fucking scene from the worst, best picture winner of all time? This is like Shape of Water. Oh. Like, they flood the bath. They somehow flood the bathroom to the ceiling so they can fuck. It's the whole house. Um, it's like a building too. I, it's kind of like a building house kind of situation. Do you one think of the, she sealed the room? That's one of the worst movies I've ever seen, by the way. I've I've stopped like, like thirty good, minutes in that movie. I good hate cock it. Situation. Shape of water. Uh, sealing the room. Yeah, you didn't get to see its cock, which was really annoying. But then she describes it later. It's like because uh, what's her name? Octavia Spencer was like, but I've seen it naked. There was no thing, and she was like, the deaf chick was like, 
like it came out of a little shell. Mm. Are you trying to sign big exploding? No, this is exactly what she did. She was like, or or whatever. Uh, so like something open and his fucking cock came out and fucked her. And then she she fucked it and then talked about it later with her friends. Was that a uh, Del Toro? Yeah, mm. yeah. It's one of his misses. It oh, it was a huge miss. But he, I mean, he won a lot. It won Best Oscar, Picture so, uh, uh, in the worst year for any movie I've ever seen. Ah, uh, you know it was a really bad movie that won. What? Not that long ago. Green Book. I didn't see it. Don't care to see it. <laughs> no. Very very uh, yeah. white savior complex. It's driving Miss Daisy. It's driving, <laughs> but reverse. Reverse it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, although this sounds bizarre, Love It was actually up for it and even volunteered to do it. She began living there in isolation with Peter the dolphin, sleeping, eating, playing, and living her daily life with the young creature. In water? Did she get like a dry space? Uh so I'm going to get to this, yeah. Lily began completely waterproofing the upper floors of the lab so that she could actually flood the indoor rooms and an outdoor balcony with a couple feet of water. This would allow the dolphin to live comfortably in the building with her for three months. Lovett would attempt to live in isolation with him six days a week, sleeping on a makeshift bed on the elevator platform in the middle of the room and doing her paperwork on a desk suspended from the ceiling and hanging over the water. So they had, like, hanging ports for her to be dry. But most of the time she was in water with the what dolphin. What the fuck? That is, seems unhealthy for a human being, but... Yeah, I don't know. They were paying her. So, like, whatever. I'm, yeah, it's fair I'm enough. For it. On the seventh day... Period, Everybody's got a press. <laughs> yeah, it's like... She volunteered. She was excited to do it. Yeah. She volunteered for she, it. Was she getting paid at all? She, I think she was getting paid, but she volunteered to be in this experiment. <laughs> You're getting paid in LSD, actually. Yeah, it's uh, all stamps, baby. You want to be high forever in a swimming pool? With a dolphin that's also high? Yeah. Honestly... <sighs> how How many weeks would you do that? A week. Okay. I think I'd do it for a week. You do dolphin acid camp for a week. <laughs> acid dolphin dolphin acid camp. Yeah. Yeah. So like you want to do acid with a dolphin that's also doing acid? I'd be like I'd I'd be kind of scared of the dolphin, honestly. Yeah, but by the end of the week you'd be heartbroken because you'd never see your best friend again. That's true. It's like Peter! Oh, he's Peter! Got, dude, he's got Peter! <laughs> he's got such a Which is what many a man wearing this uniform has screamed. <laughs> uh dude, he's just like, man, Peter's takes on fucking on uh, Dead, dude. He's got some good takes on Jerry's lyrics. Man. Yeah, man. Box of Rain lines up perfectly with this. Is scene. that the only song by Dead you know is Box of Rain? No, it's just the funniest song to mention when you talk about... I honestly don't know a single Dead, dead song. Dead lining up with <laughs> yeah, right. fucking Starship Troopers. It's just a box of rain. Like, where is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was like uh, Estimated Profit was the song that we were listening to. <laughs> California... Lounge uh, on the Golden Show. No, I used to get high in high school and listen to the dead all the time. Yeah. Anyway, uh, on the seventh day, Peter would return to the sea pool downstairs to spend time with the two female dolphins at the lab, Pamela and Sissy. While Peter was a good learner and responded well to love it, he was a maturing dolphin who was beginning to have dolphin needs. Uh-oh. He began to yeah, exhibit courtship behavior towards love it including gently biting her on her legs, <laughs> caressing her, and even uh, rubbing himself on her ankles or feet. So the dolphin has a lot in common with you, Rob. Dirty boy. Yeah. All right, when do they fuck the dolphins? This, of course, was a major inconvenience during training sessions, and Peter would become distracted as he became more worked up. In order to help relieve some of the tension, Peter would mm-hmm. briefly be moved back to the tank with the other two female dolphins where he could bust a quickie. Okay. Yeah. But this constant moving was time-consuming. But he didn't... But still, he wanted to fuck the lady. The constant moving him back to the other pen was time-consuming, and Lovett knew that some other solution would have to be found. This is actually the inspiration for Shape of Water. (laughs) Could be. Wait, I think they made a Saturday Night Live sketch about this. Uh, Where A.D. Bryant and Kate McKinnon are just jacking off dolphins. Yes. So uh, Lovett decided that in order to keep her dolphin student focused... It would be beneficial for her to relieve his sexual urges. She began to pleasure him manually in order to alleviate his sexual tension, and the lessons continued as usual. Jesus. So she uh, she was jacking off the dolphin. She just when he started got... jacking hmm. this dolphin and off. Do you think that starts with jacking off? Where does it lead? I think it's only jacking off. It's a gateway. It's it a is. gateway action to fucking dolphins. Yeah. There, I, there's another story of a guy. That worked at SeaWorld in the 70s. He's like, <laughs> it's my favorite story of all time. He's like, yeah, man, this, this female dolphin was just really coming on to me. I just waited until uh, the park closed and we'd go at it. 
he would fuck the dolphin. Oh my god! He, but the way he's like, yeah, she was just coming onto me like a fire. <laughs> it's just like a ton of bricks, man. She was just hot for it. I was like, I think you might be projecting onto that dolphin. He's like, no, 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 no. I didn't this rape dolphin that dolphin. Fucking no, that dolphin it. wanted it, bro. <laughs> yeah. You see the way that dolphin looked at me, dude? I guess if there's any animal that could consent, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if the dolphin doesn't want to have sex, I'm pretty sure they will turn around and just murder you. That actually, is actually true. Like, not to, yeah, like, if that dolphin didn't want to have sex. It would fucking kill him. Or just leave. It would swim away fast. You can't wrestle a dolphin to the ground. Yeah. I don't know. It kind of brings up a question. So the reason you shouldn't fuck animals is because consent, right? Right. But we eat animals all the time. Is yeah. consent really something we give a shit about with it's, animals at all? It's fair. We don't, <laughs> we, don't, we don't ask the cow if it's like, hey, man, right. do you mind if I eat your body? Like, you flesh? understand the utility of your life, right? Yeah, it's like, the you're cow's like, for... <laughs> Like, we clearly don't give a shit about the consent of animals. Like, so should we just fuck animals? Like, is that the, right, is is that the best? for bestiality right now? Is that, is it a bad one? I don't want to fuck animals. It's actually animals. a pretty good argument. It's a, it's a great we argument. Al we already throw consent of animals out the window. I guarantee in our lifetime there's going to be like a, a movement for bestiality. Uh, I'm sure there is one already. Uh, but actually, before even that, I've talked to, I actually have a cartoon about this that I've never published because I just don't don't want to finish it because I can't decide if I, it's good or not. But it's essentially me and Veronica were talking about it, and she was like, uh, Veronica's our friend who's been on the podcast, and she's a uh, she's a witch. She's a witch, but she's also got a, a PhD or not no, PhD master's, master's in yeah. uh, psychology. Um, and she was like, "Yeah, um, incest is going to gain a lot of steam." Dude, are you kidding me? That's the only thing on porn now. Yeah, yeah, but they just title it that. They title they title it that. that. But no, no she was like easy taboo. But here's the thing, though: the only real argument against not like if it's a da father daughter father son mother son whatever that's molestation that's not incest right if you're talking about like sibling sibling cousin cousin or whatever the only real argument against that is the nightmare offspring it produces uh, so if you can prevent that offspring <laughs> then there's no reason f to for that to be Ill illegal if it's two consenting oh, family man. members i think who wrote who wrote uh Mo i think it was malcolm gladwell talks about this too he's like if two consenting adults know they're not going to produce a bad offspring but their brother and sister and they have sex but and it's consensual no one's ever going to get hurt and there's no right bad offspring from it is it immoral mm, that seems like malcolm gladwell trying to bang his sister <laughs> well at the end of the point being though you there's no good argument against it other than Ew. You just like be like, there's got to be a line somewhere, yeah, which I am of the opinion of. I don't think yes, there's yeah. got to be a line. I, I, just draw a line. Yeah. Sometimes pick, arbitrary is not bad. No, and like I said, I don't want to go fuck animals, but your argument can't be. Kind of sounds like you want to fuck an animal right now. Uh, Dan, you have fucked an animal, and wow, yeah, <laughs> you fucked an animal. I know it. Gross. I know somewhere in you, you fucked one. <laughs> Stop talking about my ex girlfriend like that. Whoa, dude! Oh, I, I thought you meant his current girlfriend. They're being racist. No. No, I'm talking about animals. You, you've been around. a refugee is not an animal. I mean, close, but no. Dan's never fucked an animal. But what I'm saying is the argument. Also, not my girlfriend. But oh, fair enough, fair enough. The argument can't be oh because of consent because we don't care about the consent of animals in any other situation. No, we we it's have... setting a line and you just want to backfill an argument for it. I think you shouldn't fuck animals because you shouldn't fuck animals. Right. Just like, you, sometimes you just arbitrary is fine. Yeah, it's okay. If, sometimes if it's it okay to draw wrong, lines if it feels wrong, and don't do it. Well, but that's the thing, though, is that they, well, you only feel wrong because of X, Y, Z. No, right? no, no. I've never looked at it like an animal. Dude, a lot. A Here's the thing, goat. though. We've talked about this on the podcast before. People used to fuck animals a lot more. That's true. We... A lot more. A lot yeah, of Japanese... but around the world, I feel like it's still pretty um, prevalent. Again, all the veterans we know from the Drinking yeah. Bros podcast, they talk about, like, goat fucker. That's not. There's, there's people in Colombia that fuck donkeys. Pretty regularly, that, like people. Yeah, third world countries, it's pretty. Common. People in Afghanistan or anything like that, like they fuck their animals. Mm. Like they fuck their animals. I'd just be worried about getting kicked. Can you, can you imagine a hoof to the balls? It wouldn't be good. No. Oh, dude, do you think Hasbulla's fucked an animal? Oh, for sure. <sighs> he probably does. What is it? Does Hasbulla have an official account? Because I only see like the Stan accounts. Yeah, no, he does. He's, He's done millions some stuff. of followers. Well, He's done some stuff. What do you think's the nastiest shit Hasbulla's done?
Probably killed a human. Also, if you have sex with Hasbulla, are you technically a pedophile? No. No, He's but... Involved. No, no, but, like, you're, you you're pedophile attracted to a baby. Yeah. Yeah, like, you're a pedophile just, like, gleefully leaping through a loophole. <laughs> like, he is... Way like too like excited 20. about that loophole. Yeah. yeah. We're getting deep on the sex talk here today. You know what I'm fine with? Well, him. we're talking about jacking off dolphins. What else is here? This is, like, the tamest part thing. That is the tamest thing we've talked about, though. Which is funny. Jacking off a dolphin. Out That's of not that tame. What do you think honest. Hasbulla's body count is? I was actually going to say, what do you think a dolphin's load count is? Ooh. What's the Z wise? Okay, we're going to find this out real quick. You guys talk about Hasbulla's well, can we load. Do, what do you think Hasbulla's body count is? Uh, double digit for sure. You don't think it's triple? Uh, it's probably triple. Although he's a man of God. Double. Uh, of Allah. Double digit. Yeah. Wow. Um. Hold on. Also, what do you count body count as? He had insertion. <laughs> how big is a dolphin PP? Is the first question on Google. Well, you know. Yeah, how many people has Hasbulla actually killed? How, how many has Hasbulla penetrated? Are we talking about like blowjob? What are we talking Whoa. about? Whoa. Sorry. Male dolphins can ejaculate as far as 10 feet, and with such force, it can kill a human if that human was foolish enough to attempt zoophilic relations with the dolphin. So you better watch where you're aiming the gun, man. So it's a Superman. It's, yeah, a, it's a, the small same. rats. <laughs> yeah. Where it would shoot through Lois's head? Uh, Lois head? Through her back. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The back shot? Yeah. yeah. It'll shoot out her back like a shotgun. You can only have sex with Wonder Woman because yeah. she's the only person or bean that can handle that load. Yes. Uh, and that is accurate, by the way. Superman cannot fuck. No, he can't come. Yeah, he can control, right? He can't come. Because you lose control when you come. No one, no one's in control when they're coming. So they're playing like Russian roulette. Yeah. yeah. Or he has like maybe a kryptonite. So yeah, what if they have a kryptonite pussy? Then he dies. He would die? His dick is, can't get hard. The kryptonite makes it not hard. So uh, That's too much the other way. He doesn't like, kill him, Do you though, think right? like when he's right on the edge... Just Lois him? just puts a little kryptonite on his taint. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Knuckles his taint with a little kryptonite. Little kryptonite. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Hold that on, is Clark. A, by the way, the biggest one of the biggest lies in the world where it's like, oh, no, when you're blowing him, you got to knuckle the taint. Has it, Did the guy tell you it wasn't that good? Yeah, no guy I've ever blown <laughs> has been like, that knuckle worked. <laughs> good. It's good. I, I really don't like ball play. I don't like ball I'll play. What is that. ball play? Like, what, like what, define ball play, I guess. Just j jostling. And jostling? Now, that or, like, ball in mouth. There's not as many nerve receptors on your balls, so that makes sense that it's not that exciting. Just, and just, all the nerve receptors that are there are bad. I don't They're care for, for it. <laughs> it's only for pain. I, I like them to be it. squeezed. Call, I don't care Call for me it. a prude, but I just don't like my balls in her mouth. Yeah. Yeah, you fucking prude. Never, never liked it. And, like, every time I put a ball in a pussy... <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't seem to work out right? No it's not as good as putting my dick in the pussy <laughs> Like But they're the same thing Right but Dick and balls It's all my genitals But like each ball I put in the pussy Isn't as good as the dick I put in the pussy And then when I come out of my ball Not the same sensation Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's just blood that I had to stab out <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> All right, back to the dolphin hand jobs. Anyway, although Lovett claims that there were no sexual feelings on her part when relieving Peter, she does speak of the experience being sensuous. Quote, love it. It wasn't sexual on my part. Sensuous, perhaps. It seemed to me that it made the bond closer. Of course it did. Not because of the sexual activity, sure, but because of the lack of having to keep breaking. And that's really all it was. I was just there to get to know Peter. That was part of Peter. Peter is quoted saying, it was the hand jobs for me. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like an avatar where they, they connect their little... You oh, everyone forgets that he rapes a dragon thing. to ride it. Yeah, they, they put their ponytail sexual organ thing into the dragon. Oh, yeah. Every Navi just rapes a every dragon. animal to own it. So, the funny story. The first time I saw... Oh, man. Avatar, if we had the money to do it... Where it's just a like sketch. a sketch, but it's the Navi, but it's on Earth, so you can't ride a horse until you fuck it into submission. <laughs> you have to be one right? with the horse. Like, you can't own a dog until you fuck it into it's submission. Not, ma you are not its master until right. you connect with it. And then finally someone's like, I'm doing it, man. So I'm riding this giant eagle, and they but they got to fuck its cloaca or whatever yep. the fuck. So, so you break a stallion. <laughs> so... He fucks it. First time I saw Avatar, I was on LSD. 
<laughs> great movie to watch. Great for sure. like I, if you're doing that. What didn't it come out in high school? No, it came out when I was in college. I forget. It was like my freshman year. Anyway, okay. it was my. Uh, I had just graduated. So that scene came on, and we were all like, "Did that guy just rape that dragon?" Like, yeah. we were all like, kind of. Like, we well, saw past the his avatar did. Yeah. Well, yeah. he didn't. But well, he becomes the avatar. So he did. he fully moves into that body. That's right. But its eyes get all dilated, and I'm like, "Oh, that's what acid eyes look like." And we started calling doing acid raping the dragon. I love that. That's yeah, but also yes, every Navi rapes routinely mm -hmm. their pets. Like uh, routinely rapes animals on their moon. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. Isn't the new one coming out next year? Yeah, like this year, right? Christmas. Wait, Christmas? What are you Some talking about? Some bullshit like they that. They released it, but yeah, no, I think the second one's coming out like around Christmas, like this year. Yeah. Whoa, I'm gonna go see that. I could be wrong. I, Who knows? We like we've talked. James Cameron is busy underwater. Yeah. Well, Lily was injecting the dolphins with LSD. This was not something Lovett was in favor of with Peter, and she insisted that it be not be given to it. Uh, Peter, she fell in love with the dolphin. Yeah, and Lily was like, "Sure, we won't drug up your boyfriend." Like, like she fine. fell in love with the dolphin. She loved jacking it off. It, it's very clear that she enjoyed that little power dynamic. Yeah. Really. I probably. mean, you know, you work with someone long enough. Right, they become hot. They get yeah. hotter, even yeah. if it's right. a dolphin. The works even, even if, if it's, it's Peter dolphin. the dolphin. Yeah, like sometimes a, a six at work, six does it for you. You know, five four starts getting good. I think someone once said it's like everyone moves up at least two points when yeah. you work with them long enough. Yeah, like, and when I was working from home, my dogs, for example, yeah. Jack, ooh, Jack's little body, <sighs> Leo's folds, man. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing like having Jack's legs wrapped around your back. <laughs> I like that you'd be bottoming for the dogs. That's good. No, I'm doing a missionary. Oh, oh, I got. Yeah. Okay. I, I assumed like he was mounted to you. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I'm doing Jack missionary. Hi, dad. He's a 15 pound dog that I'm just fucking. You're just breaking his pelvis apart. Oh, good Lord. Shattered it. Yeah. Certainly. Uh, my, but... my wife would always come out and be like, the dogs are in their wheel things again. And I'm like, yeah, it's weird. They keep uh, spraining their pelvises. <laughs> And she was like, well, they're, why are they incontinent? And I'd be like, I fucked the dogs. <laughs> yeah, you don't even try. Fuck the dogs. Every time he farts, it's like a whistle. Just calm down. And she's like, you're so silly. Yeah, she's like, you're crazy. And I was like, well, you're pregnant, so you won't fuck me. So I'm fucking the dogs. Desperation mode, yeah. Yeah. Well, Lily's experimentation with the drug continued. Love it persevered with Peter's vocalization training and grew steadily closer to him. Quote, that relationship of having to be together sort of turned into really enjoying being together and wanting to be together and missing him when he wasn't there. So the one day a week she didn't see Peter, she missed him. Uh, she reflects, I did I did have a very close encounter with, I can't even call him a dolphin anymore. I had a close encounter with Peter. So you're in love with the dolphin. Yeah. By autumn of 1966, Lily's interest in the speaking dolphin experiment was dwindling. Uh Lovett says that it didn't have the zing to it that LSD did at the time for him. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lily's attitude towards what, her What progress. does have the zing of LSD, really? Mushrooms. <laughs> Just other drugs. Right. And she's like, in the end, the zing won. So Lily's cavalier attitude to the dolphin's welfare would eventually be his downfall, driving away the lab's director, Gregory Bateson, and eventually causing the funding to be cut. Just as Love It and Peter's six month live in experiment, so they doubled the time together, too. It was only Good supposed to be three Lord. months. It was announced that the lab would be closed. Without the funding, the fate of the dolphins was in question. I couldn't keep Peter, says Lovett. Yeah, it's because it's not a dog. If it if he'd been a cat or a dog, then maybe, but not a dolphin. Lovett's new job soon became the decommissioning of the lab, and she prepared to ship the dolphins away to Lily's other lab in a disused bank building in Miami. It was a far cry from the relative freedom. A and bank? What? Dude. What, they keep it in the vault? <laughs> Dude, Miami's weird as fuck, man. It would have been kind of cool if she tried to keep it in her bathtub. <laughs> like seriously Just splashed him a bunch <laughs> I'm sorry baby I know this isn't comfortable but at least we get to jack each other off we're building the pool he probably dolphin would be like eh. he's just, yeah he's on his back the yeah. entire time just like getting just, jacked yeah honestly I'm still kind of freaking out about that guy that just fucked that dolphin that was like it wanted it <laughs> yeah I think it did it might have he because again came, he said it came up to him and was like again put it's like dolphin vagina yeah. up to him was like yo if it didn't want it it could have left it could have killed him or killed him. Easily. Easily. Yeah. What's he going to do? Swim after? 
Well, the dolphins dolphin? Have sex, dolphins have sex for pleasure, too. They're they do. The animals that do, yeah. Now, are you fucking it in the water? Yes. I, I, 100%. A, you're in the pool. Yeah. It's mm. always wet. You're in the pool. Are you? Yeah. Dude, our listeners have had just in, intense sexual content episodes. Mm. Yeah, tell us the best way to fuck a dolphin in the comments. Please. Yeah, leave a five-star review and if tell us you, uh, your favorite way to commit a crime. So, Well, it could be consensual, eventually. I guess with... Dolphins, it could be. Anyway, yeah. uh, it was a far cry. You're the one making the argument for it. I'm making the argument against the argument of consent with animals because that's not a real argument. No one cares. It, unless you're a vegan, in which case I get it. Which, again, yeah, those plants are alive. Right. They literally are, and you have no... And also, by the way... Probably smarter than you. Uh, to plow a field, to put fucking plants in it, you kill a lot of animals. Yeah, that almond milk takes up but a lot of But I'm not eating it, so, oh, my God. All no, the insects? Almond milk, he just murders bees. But the important thing is, the important thing is, an animal you can conceptualize and empathize with a little bit more mm -hmm. isn't getting fucked over. Also, doesn't, like, a gallon or, like, a handful of uh, almonds... It's, it's so it's much like water. so many gallons of water. Almond uh, milk, There's too, only really one true way to be vegan. Do you know what that is? Kill yourself. Starve. Yes, kill yourself. Kill yourself. <laughs> Literally yeah. to kill yourself is the only way to be vegan. Actually, I have a buddy who's like vegan, and he's like, I don't even really believe this, but I don't eat honey anymore because um, it comes from animal labor. But also, he's like, but it's also great to lord it over the other like asshole vegans. They're like, well, I don't eat this. He's like, I don't even eat honey. <laughs> he just uses it because he knows he's going to get in a pissing match one day about something. He's That's like, I'm going to win. Awesome. He knows He knows what it's like. Yeah. He's just like, yeah, I, I get it. We're dicks. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep eating meat. You know that all the bacon you eat, that's from a pig that's less than a year old. Yeah, you told me. I had bacon this morning. Yeah. I have some just sitting there not being eaten right yeah, now. Yeah, meat's a complete some... protein. So <laughs> It really is, turns out. Isn't like peanut butter pretty close? Yeah, but none of the vegan options. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, uh, anyway. not getting all those amino acids. Mm -mm. Those BCAAs. Anyway, at the Miami lab, held captive in smaller tanks with little or no sunlight, Peter quickly deteriorated, and after a few weeks, Lovett received news. Quote, Lovett. I got that phone call from John Lilly, she recalls. John called me himself to tell me. He said Peter had committed suicide. The dolphin offed itself. What? Rick O'Berry corroborates the use of this word. Quote, Rick O'Berry, dolphin expert. Dolphins are not automatic air breathers like we are. Every breath is a conscious effort. If life becomes too unbearable, the dolphins just take a breath and they sink to the bottom of the tank. They don't take the next breath. The dolphin got sad because he lost his girlfriend who would jack him off. Good fucking God. Andy Williamson puts Peter's death down to a broken heart brought on by a separation from Love It that he didn't understand. Margaret could rationalize the separation, but when she left, Peter could not. The love of his life was gone. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Isn't this sad? The dolphin's just like, I guess I won't be coming up for my next meal. This is the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> what became of Love It? She had a rather happy ending, despite all the rumors. Hooray! <laughs> yeah. Despite all the rumors and controversy surrounding the experiment, Love It became very close to the photographer of the experiment, a man by the name of John Love It. Uh, her name wasn't Love It at the time. It was Ho. I just remember that. Or Howie. Uh, she left the experiment to be with him. The two eventually married and had children together. I imagine she could only seriously date someone that knew about this experiment already and was like part of it. Oh, see, I would never speak of it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm under the assumption she didn't talk about yeah. it. Yeah, so, hey, her, like, her dolphin boyfriend. You don't really bring that up on a date, right? It doesn't. Like, just so you know, my last boyfriend, a dolphin, <laughs> uh, killed himself because I stopped jacking him off. <laughs> So, uh, oddly yeah, after it shouldn't be like uh, sinking like a rock. It should be like sinking like a pent up dolphin. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, one of the funnier things that happened here. So, yeah, you would think you wouldn't talk about it. Hustler got wind of this experiment while it was happening. Mm -hmm. The fact she was manually jerking off the dolphins. Oh, my God. They did a whole story on it. Oh, my God. That's incredible. Hustler. Yeah. Hustler did. Hustler, Hustler in the I 70s did a, or 60s or whatever, did a. Fucking See, jerk this is why you dolphin. should never ask about your partner's, you know, past. Mm -mm. Shit like this will come up. Um, I want to know. 
they actually brought Carl Sagan into the lab well, course, because yeah. Carl Sagan's part of that group of people that were into psychedelics and he's stuff. He's the LSD guy. Yeah, and well, he's also just like a physicist and I think nah, he's the LSD guy. Sure. I, Why not? I associate him a lot more with math, but um anyway, they brought him in. Yeah, well, I used to associate dolphins not with acid and hand jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More with just like going next to my boat and being like, "Wee!" <laughs> like yeah. actually, they're like, "You got any drugs?" Yeah, you took yeah. me yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Trick me off, please. It killed itself. It killed itself from a broken heart. What? Uh, I mean, even a dog will just wander off. They'll find someone. Well, except else. for that one dog we know. <laughs> Which that dog? died of a broken heart. Whose dog died of a broken heart? I don't want to say his name because I like him, but oh, okay. His dog died of a broken heart. Yeah. Oh. Um, anyway. We used to work with him. <laughs> Keep narrowing it down. Anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll, we will talk about that off air. Carl Sagan walked in and was like, nope. <laughs> it was like, absolutely not. You guys are nuts. And just left. He's just like, I don't know what y'all are doing here, but it's not science. That's nah, fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. Because here's the thing. Tugging off a dolphin <laughs> isn't science. It's also not love. It's not. Uh, they. I think they both loved each other. I think she maybe did more than jack him off. Well, I mean, she'd have to be careful because it would kill her, as we know, with dolphin ejaculate. True. Yeah, it shoots 10 feet. 10 feet. Here's the well, thing. At the four, 10 feet. Right. I think, like, you know, a human could do that, too. It's the most ten dangerous feet. game right there. Pull out mm -hmm. with a dolphin. Yeah. I think she... It's like Russian roulette. I don't think she got fucked by the dolphin, but I think she got physical with it in other ways. I think she may have put her mouth to the penis. I think she may have. I don't think she like just blew him for five minutes until again his shotgun load um, <laughs> went into her fucking mouth. But dolphin nose on her vagina, little rub. Dude, maybe. Yeah. Maybe dolphins can find the clip. Maybe she. Well. Maybe yeah. I've never found it. And you know what? You don't need to to make a child. Oddly, after some time had passed, the Lovett family decided to move back to the scene of the Lovett's most scandalous experience. They stayed on the, the island. The jerking doll. The dolphin jerking. They stayed on the island and bought the house that had once been the dolphinarium. In the end, Lovett looks back fondly on the experiment and what it has meant to others. Although Lily's experiments into dolphin communication were in many ways an ethical and scientific failure, of course they were. In many ways. <laughs> in every in what ways weren't they? <laughs> the only way it wasn't was the fact that they realized that uh, psychedelics could help with trauma and stuff like that. Doesn't really. sound like it because the that's dolphin not, dies. Well, Peter never did LSD. But that's not, just because you accidentally discover something doesn't mean that what you were doing was ethical. Oh, no. Mm. I mean, a lot of stuff we've learned, actually some of the most valuable lessons we've learned in psychology and stuff like that has come from unethical shit. Yeah. Like the, the, I was a space program. That's not psychology, but yes, we did. We got into outer space through well, nothing ethical. What was it? The Milgram experiment where they were like, oh, shock people if they get the wrong answer. And no one was actually ever being shocked. They were just seeing how much they could, like how much people would shock someone. Yeah. And like, they basically figured out like, oh, if people have the go ahead to inflict pain on one another and it's through they'll like, do it. oh, they'll not, they'll do it even when they, it might be the yeah. person's dead. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. But um, although, yeah, his work had a profound positive impact on the way we think about drugs, psychology, and interspecies communication, thanks in part to Lily's humanizing approach to dolphin intellect that are now recognized as one of the most intelligent creatures on Earth, which has prompted a number of large-scale conservation efforts to protect them. Even researchers at the uh, SETI Institute, the California-based Extraterrestrial Research Institute that we SETI. talked about earlier. SETI, yeah. Are, they're continuing Lily's legacy by investigating how dolphins and other animals communicate, uh, how their communications can help them design a filter that will be able to determine whether a radio signal from space is extraterrestrial in origin. Uh, today, the field of human-dolphin communication is alive and well. There are now machine interfaces that are capable of translating dolphin vocalizations. Another research has found that dolphins exhibit vocalization complexity that rivals that of human language. Ultimately, though... Lily's work with dolphins and LSD occurs only at limits of la only at the limits of language, allowing for meaning even when words might fail. So, basically, that's a very jargony way of saying, yeah, it helped a little bit, 
He's jerking off dolphins. Yeah, they yeah, were jerking yeah, off yeah. dolphins in there. They yeah. were giving him drugs. You're all, you're always gonna learn something about someone if you jerk them off enough. If you gave me a bunch of acid and jerked me off every day for uh, six months, you'd learn something. Uh, yeah, the mental clarity <laughs> alone. Right. Yeah, right. It feels like, I guess what I would say is, if you observed something for months on end, you'll learn something about it, mm-hmm. and that. <laughs> Giving it acid and jacking it off seems superfluous. Well, he so that's the thing. Don't let's not mislead people. Peter did not ever have acid. Okay, jerking it off. You know what I learned from jerking off this dolphin six days a week for six months? Uh, it liked being jerked off. Yeah, 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 yeah. This does seem like an old school Vice headline. Oh yeah, I jerked off a dolphin for six days uh, for <laughs> six LSD months straight. And, yeah. While I took acid, here's what happened. <laughs> I, I loved the one that was like I smoked coffee grounds for nine months or whatever. Like it would always be something that you just who would have thought to do that? And it's like this again. It's like did. they. It's like a Mad Lib. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Like they had to draw three things out of a hat. You know what I mean? Like it's like a the inject the South Park Family Guy. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, the, the mantis. mantis. Yeah. yeah. Um, big fan of that. But yeah, that's the story of how a dolphin killed itself because it was getting jerked off a lot and then it didn't get jerked off anymore. And how NASA Unless paid I for it. it. Mm-hmm. NASA paid for dolphins to do acid, people to jerk off NASA dolphins. killed a dolphin. <laughs> Through, with a broken Because heart. of bestiality. In a weird way, mm-hmm. us trying to go to the moon killed a dolphin. Homie was going that's through a dry spell. That's not that big of a sacrifice, know? to be honest. No, we got there. We got there before the dolphin was actually getting killed. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we got there in 69? Yeah. Yeah, Went dolphin. to the moon, 1969. Is that a song? Not 1968, but the year after. Is that a song? Is that, is that some sort of mnemonic device for remembering that? It's Even Stevens. Okay. Oh, so it's a fake song that no one would ever It's have a remember. song from a TV show with Shia LaBeouf. What's Beans up to? He's I think dead. he looks like shit. <laughs> he died. What's Ren up to? Hmm. She's pretty hot. She's a Hallmark actress now. She actually lives in Dripping Springs. What? Ren yeah. Stevens lives in Dripping Springs. And, and oh, she uh, actually does porn with Maitland Ward now. Yeah, yeah well, that'd be sick. <laughs> Ren Stevens. Either, okay, so that's our episode for today. Um, what'd you guys learn? Oh, boy. Um, that, look, science is really just throwing shit at a wall. I learned that <laughs> you shouldn't should. go down to the jungles of Peru. You should simply do acid and get jerked off. To really, but that dolphin wasn't doing acid. It was just getting jerked off. All right, well then do yeah. acid and jerk. It's other kind of funny, off. actually. So when the dolphin would get sent back to the pen to fuck the female dolphins before they just started tugging it, um, the female dolphins were on acid. Hmm. Okay, so kind interesting. Of choosing, yeah. Why didn't they ever give him acid? Because she didn't want him to have the acid. She was in love with him. She was in love with him. And she didn't. That's want what him. I learned. She thought it was she cool. loved that dolphin. They she, and she moved back to where the home of yeah. where. She moved back to, again, Dolphinarium. What is I learned is her eventual I hate husband. The, I hate the word Dolphinarium. Her eventual husband overlooked a lot. Uh, her eventual husband. He was photographing the whole thing. He was the photographer of the experiment. Oh, my God. So he was just sitting there like, lucky dolphin. <laughs> it's like, it's like that's going to be me one it's day. It's yeah. like, Margaret, I've seen the way what you handled What if he killed Peter? the dolphin? Just like holding it under like, yeah. die, Peter. He just sat on it. With All right, a, hold on. We got another movie. Je- yeah, yeah, no. He yeah. was jealous of the dolphin, so he, he killed it. He put a lead saddle on it. He's like, you're never... Because like, he was obviously threatened. But even when he, he tied his head to a cinder block with saran Even around. when he's with the woman, he was still threatened by the dolphin being alive. Yeah. Took care of the problem. Yep. It's like, stop visiting. Home. Stop visiting. The yeah, line. like Jake said, I would have just saran wrapped its head to the cinder block. To a block and then, yeah, taking a sledgehammer. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, uh, who is Hitler? Uh, the jack off lady, honestly. Not Lily for just giving dolphins acid. She seems that was worse. perfectly fine. Um, yeah, cause, I'm, I'm sorry. How many of the other further. dolphins killed themselves? Yeah, because she's the one that mm. essentially killed this dolphin. Yeah, she off. killed this dolphin. She made this dolphin, a dolphin, commit suicide. Because maybe she gave really good. Think handies. about this for a while. You like think she gave really good handies, and he was like, "Fuck." Yes, yeah, probably. Handies. Well, that's, first off, that's the only hand job he's ever gotten in his life. Yeah, it, he's just. And think just about it. Fin jobs. Imagine like, a woman though that give you a hand job so good that once that went away, you kill yourself. Life is not worth living. That's he was also did. like kind of a teenager dolphin too. Like he wasn't. Like, he's like just he was going a through, teenage he's all hor- dolphin, right. all those hormones, baby. 
getting jerked off by ladies, baby. Ooh. I miss your monkey hands, baby. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's Hitler. She's Hitler. She, she's Hitler. She, she played that dolphin. Yeah. Like a fiddle. And she's like, oh, it was... That, it, 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 Maybe the quote got back More to like the dolphin. Accordion, but the quote was like, it wasn't sexual for me, but it was sensuous. And he's like, you're going to miss me, Do you me, think bitch. a dolphin's a two-hander? How big is a dolphin penis? Okay, man, this is a I don't think so, though. I think you can go two hands, but I think you want to just kind of orbit it up and down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like, it's, pretty, it it's pretty variable, actually. Um, so they have growers and showers, I guess. Mm -hmm. It is approximately six inches long and... With eight inches, of ma it's like between six and eight inches. So it's kind of like a normal human. It's day. a human cock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ski. Here's Jake trying to normalize it. So it goes it. like, it's kind of like goes to a point too. So it's got a wide base. It's a, a cone. Yeah. Conical. Oh, it's a conical dick. I'm trying to find. Well, oh, okay, here you go. Base, yeah. Let me see. Let me see that dolphin penis. I'm trying to get She's it. Hitler though, by the way. I, she's just a piece <laughs> of shit. She yeah. got that dolphin to kill itself. Not on purpose, but like it's her fault, right? Like she's, she's not that one girl that was like texting her boyfriend to kill herself. Yeah, yeah, but it's close. There it is. Uh, that's only six to eight inches. It looks like it's fucking twelve inches. Man. I think they they might be measuring from this part, right? Okay, this could all just this could also just be regardless. A that's a monster, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much what I she's expected. Hitler. Oh, okay, here you go. That's probably a better angle of it. Okay. I'm so glad this is my work computer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you're at work right now. I'm at work. It's not my this work computer. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, she's Hitler, though. It's like, Jake, were you looking up dolphin dicks? And if you wonder what I learned today, it's that uh, the government spends a lot of money on a lot of things. Way more than you could ever know. Yeah. This is stuff we know about that's happening. <laughs> Listen, they have a certain budget. You got to hit that number. And if you're a patriot, you'll pay your taxes. That's right. Hey, sometimes it funds, you know, streets and roads and, you know, stuff like that. And sometimes it funds, uh, it's a, a dolphin getting jacked off. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's our show, guys. Thanks for listening. Of course, please check out our Patreon again. It's patreon.com slash softcore history. Also, please leave a review. Give us five, five stars. stars and a review if you can on Apple. Spotify, all you have to do is hit five stars. Easy peasy. And uh, softcorehistory.com for merch. Yeah, merchy merch. Oh, and if you're a Patreon listener, you get a discount. Said this, probably should have said this on the Patreon, yeah, but uh, you get a discount as well. Um, use the code. We can make up the code right now. I haven't said it yet. What do you want the code to be? Well, no, no, you can't say it now. Are you fucking kidding? We're on the main show. I know, you just but they, tell them the code. They can't use it if they're not a Patreon member. Only Patreon members can oh, use it. Oh, because you register their email address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the code? What do we want it to be? Dolphin dick? Softy. Softy. Dolphin softy? Yeah. Use the code. Uh, softy. Softy. Just softy. Softy. S-O-F-T-I-E. You'll get 15% uh, off merch. Yeah. But we have it. We will. We know all your email addresses for the Patreon. Yeah. So we can put that in there. So it'll only be whatever. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, that's it for us. Uh, for Rob Fox, Dan Regis, I'm Jake Goldman. You just got soft served. <laughs>